Dragon Con is the largest science fiction convention in America. It's the place to go to be a geek. It's a party for 20,000 of your closest geeky friends. A little bit of something for everybody. Uh, I mean, if you're into, if you've got music, science fiction, literature, technology, gaming, collecting, it's got a little bit of everything. It's got things for kids and adults. I've heard a lot of things over the years about Dragon Con, uh, fun things. I've never really been to any of the parties at night. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of an old man, so I don't I don't do all that stuff. But I've started uh, actually putting out my own humor magazine, and this is a really great venue for me to actually be able to show it to a lot of different people, having a blast, you know, surrounded by artists and friends. Really enjoy some of the costumes. There's some pretty creative uh, people out there. For the most part, it's just really cool to be able to dress up and hang out with all the different people, see everybody else's costumes. My costume is Dark Lily from Legend. My mom and I made it together. It was a lot of work, but came together okay. It's just so much fun because you get to be somebody different. You get to be a different character. First year, we just kind of came out and stared at everybody. I saw everybody in costumes, thought it'd be kind of fun. So uh, Star Wars was covered, Star Trek was covered. Everything else had been done, so we did. We decided on Cobra from G.I. Joe. And we've been picking up hangers on and stragglers ever since. Most of us are here just to have a good time, you know. And, you know, wear our outfits, have fun, and be with all our friends. Myself, I've been coming here to Dragon Con for, I think this is my fourth year. They send us out here to recruit troopers. You know, of course, the garrisons get bigger. Empire gets bigger, the more people we get, the happier Vader is. Happier Vader is, the happier Palpatine is. We're all happy. Uh, there's a lot of uh, stormtroopers. I, I saw actually some Uma Thurman going by with her, that yellow uh, jumpsuit that she wears in the, in the picture. You know, I think these are all pretty good people, but you, you could never tell that by walking through the lobby because they're all dressed up as vampires and serial killers and uh, Klingons. Ichak nukne chadak nampu. That translates into English. Yes, what do you want, human? You have all gathered here this day because you have expressed an interest in Klingons. In our history, in our culture, and in our future. Our future is honor. Our current is in this room. <laughs> Today, we are teaching Klingon History 101 to teach humans what it means to be Klingon. To be Klingon is to be a warrior. I'm here this year to do my thesis. I'm interviewing fans. My thesis is in participatory fandom, which is why do people take the time to dress up, to travel this far? So far, uh, most of my findings have been that, number one, it's very social, and people get to get together here, they get to um, dress up and, and act in ways that they don't get to do with their friends and family, um, and just have a lot of fun at it. We wound up stuck in an elevator together with a giant chicken from where the wild things are. And we hung out the whole convention, and then we got into this group, and now we're all back together again a year later. You come to Dragon Con, you form friends, and it, it, you last for years. There's people here I've known, and I see them, and maybe only once a year, but we've known each other for like 10 years. Yeah. A convention becomes a sort of community. You go back every year to the same convention to see your same friends from last year. I moved out to Los Angeles last year, and there's a convention much closer to um, Los Angeles. But I still come here because that's where my friends are. Space is going to be